used for the transport of dry powdery products in bulk. Before starting the operation, verify the guidelines in the owner's manual. In the side of the equipment, there is an adhesive with the loading and unloading instructions. Check if the valves are closed. Open the relief valve to equalize the inner pressure. Open the inspection leads. Follow the stages for opening. Check if there is moisture inside the silo or in the draining system. Proceed to loading. Then, close the lid and the valve of relief. Attention! Check the owner's manual for the procedure of regulation of the levers, which will keep the same pressure spread uniformly in the lid. Attention! Unload one compartment at a time. The work pressure is of 1 to 2 kg force per square centimeter or one bar. Connect the unload hose 4 inch. Connect the 3 inch air hose. Drain the humidity of the dehumidifier. Check if the cover and the valve of relief are closed. Pressurize the silo and open the valve of discharge of the compartment, controlling the pressure in the manometer. Close the valve of the accelerator until reaching the work pressure. Open the valve of the gradual accelerator according to the necessity. Slowly open the rotating valve that corresponds to the compartment to be unloaded. Regulate the opening of the valve of the unload accelerator in order to keep the work pressure in the manometer. Attention! When the pressure in the manometer is under 0.5 kg force per square centimeter or 0.5 bar, the compartment is empty. Close the rotating valve and the valve of the compartment. Go through the procedure of opening the valves with the remaining compartments until complete unload. After unloading the last compartment, open all the rotating valves, all the valves of the compartments and of the accelerator. Keep the pressure for about 10 minutes for the cleanness of the box and of the draining of the silo. After that, Disconnect and wait until the pressure in the manometer reaches zero. Detach and put away the 3 inch and 4 inch hoses and close the valves. For more information regarding operation and maintenance of the silo, check the owner's manual.